Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths Sinking Ship video, and this is Sinking the Oceanic. Now this is another ship by the Confident Gamer, I've already sunk his, uh, what was it, the crew, his basic cruise ship about uh, three, four weeks ago, and uh, it seemed fairly popular, um, fun as well, um, and uh, he's asked me again to uh, sink his Oceanic. Now this is a work in progress ship. I may add, because uh, there's a few issues that need to be sorted out. There's one issue that I, you've probably noticed already. She does sit a bit low in the water. Um, about two, one, one and a half to two metres below the, below where she should be. Um, that's b mainly because uh, it's buoyancy, basically. You've got a high superstructure and um, a low draft. So it's, it's just to keep the weight down, centre of gravity down. Um, that's, that's, I've noticed this with a lot of ships anyway. Um, it's not a big issue. It can be sorted out. But uh, that's the uh, the only real issue with this thing. Oh, there was another issue as well. There was no steering uh, controls, so I had to add them. But uh, apart from that, <laughs> everything's fine. And it's a one-to-one -one scale, I do believe. Although I think he had problems getting the height right. The length and the width are all fine. But uh, I think the length, uh, the height was uh, an issue. But uh, no big issue. Well, not for me anyway. And a uh, quick look around again. And uh, it don't look too bad. It looks all right. Yeah, I've got the uh, got all the engines as well. I've got the propellers on the back. Uh, well, plenty of propellers, plenty of rudders as well. I just noticed. Yeah, plenty of rudders. We've got plenty of engine power if we just find the engines, which are here. We've got these are uh, well, a lot of uh, cylinders there, so we've got plenty of power. And the exhausts go up and out through the top, just in front of the funnel. So that's uh, that bit there. So um, yeah, not, not a bad little ship this. But uh, however good it may be, it's going to be destroyed. There's going to be a two-part, uh, well not a two-part video, but a, a sort of a half-and-half -half video. Sinking it one way, and then we're going to sink it another way, like we've done with this cruise ship. So um, a little bit different to uh, the normal stuff today. We've got some rather large mines in the water today. We've got uh, <laughs> mines with a surprise. So we're just going to start off the uh, oceanic and head towards the first mine. I think uh, one mine may be enough to cripple her. But I've got four laid out in a line, so uh, we shall see what happens. But, uh, she's gradually making her way to the first mine. And we don't want to hit directly head on because uh, it makes a hell of a mess. But uh, we sort of aim along the side like that. Bit of a lag there, and. Boom! <laughs> there we go, that's the first hit. And uh, that's pretty much knackered already. <laughs> there, I'm not done too bad, is it? Oh shit, she's going over as well. So um, yeah, that was as a, a successful hit. And uh, just pop on board and have a look. And I think, yep, yeah, looking at the horizon, the ship is keeling over. So uh, yeah, we do have a few problems. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. What's the damage? Ooh, that's quite a hole in it. That's uh, a large orifice there, and there's what's left of the mine. So yeah, that's uh, quite a successful uh, test flight. So there's the second mine. Got to try and aim for that now. So if I just sit about. Oh, I don't know, that's set over here, annoyed. Then we try and uh, swivel the ship around. The good thing about these ships, you can actually move them, even or you can turn them without moving them, uh, or having the engine turned on. So. And it's not doing the ship any good as well because he's listing a bit more, so never mind. Right. Second mine, let's see what we can do. Can't imagine it being much worse than what we've already got. And kaboom. <laughs> right. That's uh blast number two. Pieces coming off, the folks all going under. And there isn't much left of the folks all to be honest. I mean the whole bow has just opened up. And there's, there's pieces everywhere in here. Look at that. There's wreckage all over the place. And uh, is she still tipping over? Yeah, things aren't looking too good. We just pop on board. Yeah, the horizon has uh, disappeared out that window there. And looking out that window there, it's getting worse. So, yeah, I think we're pretty knackered now. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I don't think she's going to tip much further. But yeah, that's a success nonetheless. Alright, so the next mine... God, God, look at it. 
So the next mine is up there. And there's another one further on. So we're just going to try and get into line. I'm going to try and hit along the other side now. So we're trying to hit along the starboard side. Or is it the port side? It's the starboard side, isn't it? So we're trying to aim a bit further along the side now. We'll just move along. Oh, no blast. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> blast number three. Always oh, successful. And the ship is still knackered. I haven't done much to uh, make the ship any worse in the situation just by ma oh, just making a another large hole in the side. Really, we want to hit along another compartment to sort of bring it down a bit more. Cause, I mean, really, we've only damaged one compartment, but it's, en <laughs> it's enough to bring it down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sail forward slowly and try and bring the ship a bit more in line with that second, uh, that last mine there. And if I get too close, I'm going to run aground on that island over there. So just swinging the propellers round, or the rudder round. And I don't want to turn too much because she's going to tip over. <laughs> I'm going to bring it along steady. And I don't think the situation can get much worse than what it already is. I mean, the bridge wings are already under. Come on. All right, keep going, keep going. I don't think it's going to do any damage, actually, because it's... Uh... No, can't. It's not hitting enough. Oh, wrong button. Uh, let's floor it and see what happens. <laughs> the ship is completely tipped over now. Come on, do some damage. Explode. Do what you're designed to do. I was just going to hit the propeller, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now it's just bl <laughs> blown the propeller off. Oh well. I think that was a successful uh, hit. And look, we've got a Nazi swastika singing. I think that was a, a successful hit. And uh, yeah, we've sunk. She's not sunk, but she's uh, pretty naked. And uh, I don't think... I don't think she's going to go much further. I think the engines are flooded. Well, not flooded, but... Uh, actually... All the compartments, apart from the front and the back, are flooded. <laughs> Alright, so I think she's going to start to tip over now, because she's completely out of uh, balance now, because uh, although the midships is uh, dry, the uh, ends are flooded, so... Is she tipping over? Very, very, very slightly, so... I think she's alright. Right, what I'm going to do... I'm going to put another mine or two in, what are they called? I'm going to load up the... Uh, RBMK1s, that's what they're called, or what I called them anyway. For those of you who are familiar with what an RBMK1 is, it's a Soviet reactor. I just called it an RBMK1 for no reason whatsoever. Right, let's have another go. I don't think the ship's going to move very fast now, because <laughs> like you saw, we lost the propeller. And, uh, She's going to have to limp her way to the uh, next mine. Where is the next mine? Oh, there it is. Just going to have to sort of creep along slowly. Surprised you can move at all, actually, considering how low in the water she is now. Right, just, just try and bring along broadside. Try and... Right, getting the thing to turn properly is annoying. But, yeah, it didn't work. I'm trying to get the mine to hit along the side of the ship, but it's just not happening. Well, that's uh, five mines down. Okay, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. This might work. Nope, not going to work. 
<laughs> oh, let's stop engines a minute. Let the dust clear. And what is the damage? We're not doing ourselves any favours. I mean, the compartments are still dry. But we just want to try and hit along the sides. The problem with these mines, or the problem with ships in this game, we just cannot get the bloody things to work properly. Alright, anyway, let's, let's go again, see what happens. I'm trying to get a glancing blow along the side. Okay, this might work. Ah, yes. Oh, there we go. Then, <laughs> yep, yeah, I think we've pretty much knackered her now. She's blown the next compartment. And uh, she's still. Still stable, though. Oh, that's a surprise. I didn't expect that. But, uh. Oh well. Maybe we need to ne uh, knock the next compartment. We've got all these compartments still. I don't think we're going to breach all of them. I think the ship, <laughs> ship is going to die before we get to that point. But uh, where's the next mine? I loaded up three. And I can only. We've only destroyed two and I can't find the last one. Shit. Did we blow up? Did I load three or did we blow them all up? Oh no. I've lost it. Oh no, is that it over there? Oh no. Where did it go? Or have I driven past it? Oh well. well <laughs> lost it to sea. Never mind. Um, so what I'm going to do, I have to load up another one because I don't know where that last one went. Right. Drop that in the water. For those who are wondering what the uh, stalk is at the bottom there, it's just a counterweight because uh, it just bubbles about like a well, like a bubble basically, so it's just to keep it steady and uh, stops it from sinking. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it uh, balances it out. If it wasn't on there, the thing would be too high above the water. And if it was, uh, and it just keeps it just on the sur or just on, yeah, just on the surface of the water. So what we're doing now, trying to breach the next compartment. Uh. And try that. Oh, come on, explode. Douche. Douche. Oh. Now we're just pushing it along. Come on, do your worst. <laughs> oh, great, now it's stuck. Okay, that's not worked at all. Um, oh no, let's just ram it in reverse and have another go. It actually steers better in reverse as well. Alright, let's see what happens. Now this should work. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's love a nuclear blast. Oh, there we go, another blast there. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much knackered it now. <laughs> and, mm, still stable, but, oh no, going down a bit more. Yeah, I think she's sort of stable where she is, well what's the damage? Well it's blown open that, uh, well two compartments there and I think we can safely say although not completely sunk it's uh, a fairly successful uh, attempt at sinking I mean we've pretty much knackered the thing anyway so um, yeah, so that's uh, part one out of the way, so what I'm going to do, reload the ship and reload uh, a new battleship and uh, well she'll sink again, so uh, back in a minute
Okay, back again. Now I've uh, reloaded the ship. She's now floating and uh, completely intact. And we're just going to use it now as uh, a bit of target practice, just for the fun of it. Um, not using the Emma Jane or the Mamba today. We've got a new ship that I uh, put together a few weeks ago called the uh, Desire Bell. And here it is. Not bad, is it? And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to use... Uh, I'm not really sure what to use. You've got uh, a shitload of torpedoes and we've also got the big guns. It's uh, similar in appearance, vaguely, to the Emma Jane, but uh, not as not as big on firepower. But uh, what we're going to do, what should we use? We've got uh, torpedoes. We've got the big gun. We've got torpedoes back here. We've got a few more in the bow. So I think we'll start with the, uh, the small bow torpedoes. So I'll fire those first. And we shall see what we end up with. Where do they hit? In the stern. And uh, <laughs> it hasn't done much at all. But a few pieces fell out. Oh, we lost a propeller as well. It's always a good sign. So we lost a propeller. And uh, also I've got a small hole in the side. So the engine room's flooded. But uh, everything else is as it was. Oh, this room's flooded as well. So we've got two compartments flooded, but uh, very little in the way of uh, anything that's happened. So I fire another two torpedoes and shit, just fire the gun. <laughs> that was an accident. Oh god, everything's coming. Oh well. That was unintentional, but uh, uh, we've done it now, so... <sighs> It was meant to be a, a gradual sinking, not a obliteration on a apocalyptic scale, but never mind. Well, that's pretty much finished it off, so now the ship's completely knackered. And uh, going down gracefully, so the bridge is under, the funnels are going under. The whole ship is heading for the sandy bottom down there. So uh, I accidentally selected the all button rather than... Uh, Number five. <laughs> Sends it firing everything at it. But never mind. What's done is done. And uh, the ship is uh, gradually going under. So what's the damage? Let's have a look. It's, uh, well, the damage is everything, basically. Oh, bits are falling off now. So yeah, everything is everything that can be damaged is damaged. So compartments are flooded, 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 flooded. Flooded, flooded, flooded. Flooded, 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 flooded. Flooded. Yeah, all the compartments are flooded. So now the ship is completely shagged and yeah, it's going down. So that's it. That's the <laughs> the Oce Oceanic done. Oh well. How far has she got to go to the bottom? She's on the, heading for a sandy bottom. So yeah, there we go. So it's going to be a little while before she gets there. I think what I'll do, I'll fire a few more torpedoes just to hurry up the process. Although she's reasonably intact, we can't finish it off there. So there we are, there's the torpedoes on their way now. And hopefully they will uh, finish the process. I will admit there's not as many as there are on the Mamba, but uh, enough nonetheless. And uh, there we go, let's... Uh, Painted a nice picture now. The ship is completely destroyed, except for this side, which is fine. So, um, yeah, she's uh, heading for the bottom. So I should do a quick jump cut while she settles and uh, sits. So I shall return in a few minutes. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now the Oceanic has uh, settled on the sandy bottom. Didn't take long. And uh, yeah, the wreck has uh, deteriorated slightly. A few pieces broke off during the sinking, but uh, nonetheless, uh, she's on the sandy bottom now. <laughs> one side looking fine, the other side not. She's uh, sort of bridging across two sand dunes, but uh, I was hoping she'd sort of settle a bit uh, more square, but never mind. And uh, that is pretty much it. She's not far from the surface, as you can see. Just below the surface there, and uh, that's pretty much it. So that's uh, the Confident Gamer's Oceanic, and uh, she's sunk. <laughs> once successfully, the other one... Well, I was sort of mined to death, but uh, never mind. Anyway, the download for this ship uh, will be... or well, the link will be put on the description, hopefully, and also 
Uh, well, it's on Steam anyway. It's on the uh, Steam Workshop, so if you want it, uh, it's available there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, this is Rich, signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return with another video. So, uh, bye for now.